Hey guys, what's going on? First of all, I would like to say a giant, giant thank you to every single one of you. We finally hit 100,000 subscribers and I am super, super, super excited. I did a really cool stream uh, last night to celebrate and I hope that you guys were in there too. And if you guys are in the streams, definitely take a look uh, in the description. I stream on Twitch pretty much every single day if you guys want to hop in there, but I'm super thankful for 100K guys. It means the world to me. This is like literally becoming a dream come true and um, I can't wait until we hit even more subs in the future. But today we're playing Icy Ramen and we are going to be doing some really, really cool quests for the Senju clan, uh, the nature affinities. Somebody gave us water release. I think that it was Lorenzo, Lorenzo actually. He gave it to us in spawn a few days ago. And uh, yeah, so here we are today and um, we're gonna be trying to get stronger. If you guys wanna play on the server, make sure that you guys uh, go ahead and join my Discord. The link is in the description. Get to the MC Server Links channel join icy ramen and there's a how to join channel in there that has the mod pack the ip every single thing that you guys need and uh we're gonna go ahead and hop in today and if you guys are new here drop a like subscribe to see more and uh let's go ahead and see what we can do today so this is going to be quite a long video today. We're going to be completing the whole leaf quest line and uh, we're going to be doing the tuning exams. We're going to be doing a ton of stuff and it's going to be crazy. So that being said, we're going to be going in here and doing the um, Kakashi has informed you that you have been selected to be a candidate for taking the tuning exams. OK, report to the academy building to take the written test. OK, let's go ahead and uh, head over there and uh, let's see if we can't um, pass this written exam. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a grind today guys we're actually gonna have to we're also gonna have to buy some ramen um this is gonna be such a long video and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it all solo uh so i might go ahead and ask some of you guys that are in the audience um or not in the audience that are in the server to go ahead and uh, maybe help me out but here is the questions that i've got to be answering let's go ahead and claim this first of all and uh now we just got to talk to this thing Ah, let's see if we can do this. Question one, who was Naruto's first summon? Obviously, that was Gambunta. Uh, question two, what is the power uh, most powerful Fuin Jutsu in Naruto? I think that this would be six paths because that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it for sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, how many members of the Uchiha have achieved the Eternal Mongekyo? I believe that this would be... So, the Eternal Mongekyo would just be... Okay, it's two. There we go. It would just be Sasuke and um, what's his name? Uh, Madara. Okay. So what is the best? What is the basis for ninjutsu? Ninju. What clan does the yellow flash belong to? Um, none of those. The Suchikage is a Kage of which village? Suchikage would be stone. What is the reason for the eighth gate aura being red? Um, burning blood through the body. Which of these people have had more than one type of summon? Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura, or Pain slash Nagato? Um, well, obviously, I know that Sasuke did. Technically, Pain or Nagato didn't have any summons, I don't think. So we're going to go with Sasuke? Yeah, okay. Which of these people are not in the Kanoa 11? This would be Sasuke because he's not a part of the Kanoa 11. He's part of the Kanoa 12. How many bodies did Nagato use in total? This would be because he had the six paths of pain and then he also had his body. So seven. I think. Yes. OK, you have passed the written portion of the exams. Well done. Perfect. Let's go. OK, so we actually completed that. Let's go ahead and see now. Now we have to do the tuning exams and this is not going to be easy. We got to make our way to the force of death. And um, I think that I can actually go ahead and warp here a little bit faster. Yes. So we are at the leaf gate. And uh, let's go ahead and eat this uh, eat this chakra. We actually got up to level 154 here. Um, now, guys, we did add a ton in this last recent update. And um, I hope that you guys are going to be hyped for it. Is there a sand ninja attacking my people right now? Hold up. I think there might be. I think there might be a sand ninja attacking my people. I'm going to go ahead and defend them. Are they attacking? No. Oh, no. No, he's attacking. Oh, no, he's attacking. They're definitely attacking. Okay. Sometimes the sand and stone uh, come to the leaf to attack, but we're gonna we're gonna take this dude out. I don't think we're gonna have too much of a trouble taking this guy out here. Here he goes. Here he goes. See, this is why I was saying when there might be some PvP in this video, guys. Uh, this is uh, this is actually pretty fun. This is what happens on this server, man. It it is crazy. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit a lightning ball there. We almost hit it. We almost hit it. But we are we're a strong Senju. We're a strong Senju, and uh, I'm not I'm not too scared of this. I'm not too scared of this guy. As long as the stone got oh no okay now we, now we've got three people on us plus a summon or no two people plus a summon so let's go ahead and we might have to dip out from this fight I do want to take this guy out though Daddy Lucci Daddy Lucci's going out here here we go 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. What you got? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, no. Two more hits from my sword and he's gone. And here we go. And one more. One more. Send your sword. Yes, let's go. Okay. That was a GG, bro. That was honestly a GG. That was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I think that he was attacking um, some of the ninja that were around here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to what I was doing. That was that was pretty fun. I saw him attacking someone, so, you know, we, we had to protect the village. We're, we're a senju. We're a strong senju. And by the way, guys, if you like the Orochimaru outfit that I'm wearing, it is actually available in the shop right now. We have a rotating cosmetic store, so if you guys want it, it's only five bucks. Go ahead and grab it now, and uh, let's go ahead. I'll tell you guys once I'm at the Force of Death. All right, we've made our way to the tuning exams. We have the whole squad with us. We got Rock Lee, Ten Ten, Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura. We got everyone is here. Now, I think the next thing we have to do is talk to Anko here. Yeah, speak to speak to Anko. OK, so tough guys like you usually leave their blood all over the forest. Ha <laughs> ha This will be the second portion of the tuning exams. You will have multiple things to keep an eye out for bugs, snakes and other ninja. Be careful and make it out alive or either way or don't either way. Sorry. Let the second part of the tuning exams begin at the forest of death. This is going to be rough. Let's go ahead and do this. We're, we're going to get this XP and uh, try to actually do this. OK, make your way toward the loud explosion. The screaming sounds like Sakura. So we actually have to go in here and defeat the sound ninja. And I'm pretty sure that you guys know the force of death is no joke. We have nerfed it quite a few times, um, but it is still not easy. It is still not easy. And I probably would want to get onto the top of these trees here because uh, going through the bottom is probably not the best idea, especially because I'm solo right now. I'm kind of hoping that we have some more people doing this tuning exams right now rather than just me. And now it's raining. But hey, it's, it's kind of fitting. It's kind of fitting. Very, uh, very dark, very ominous. So let's see. Where, where do we have to go? Negative five, four, seven, twenty one hundred. OK, I believe that it's just kind of straight back here. I believe should be kind of over here. I hope that other people are doing this right now because beating this by yourself is uh, is not the easiest thing to be doing. Oh, no, we're getting attacked by by beetles and and whatnot. Let's see. Come on. I think we went too far. Negative five, four, seven. Oh, yeah, no. OK. Oh, no, there's there's Ken. OK, there's Ken. So Ken's almost dead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see. Hmm. We might be able to take him out with Kenjutsu. Nope. 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 Not the idea here. Not the idea here. But we are going to take him out. Nonetheless. Nonetheless. We are taking him out. Come on. And die. Yes. Let's go. Okay. So we got Ken. And uh, now we have to. We have to find where. Where Nar. Or no. Where Sakura is. Where. Where is she? I know that I have to kill Ken. We got to talk to Sakura first. Where's Sakura at? She should be over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Go ahead and talk to Sakura. Thank you so much for the help, Sobs. I don't think we should. I don't think we would have made it without you, but I sense that this is the last enemy. This is not the last enemy we'll face. Okay, so now we got to kill Dosu and we have to kill Zaku. Um, I don't know if that one kill is going to count, but um, nonetheless, we did kill him. So we'll probably end up counting it. But now let's charge up some Chakra, heal up a little bit. And uh, we're going to have to kill Dosu, which is not going to be the easiest thing we've ever done. So that being said, oh, God, and there is a giant spider right there. OK, that's good to know. So let's go ahead, take out Dosu. I don't think this man has any range. No, Dosu, Dosu is one of the guys that doesn't have much range. So this shouldn't be too. This shouldn't be too hard. You know what? We might even we might even go in on him. Oh, whoops, I'm flying. We might even go in on him hand to hand and see what he's got. Let's see what you got, Dosu. Let's see what you got. Who wins hand to hand? Oh, God, he has he has nausea. He has nausea. It seems like me and him are technically pretty close with uh, with just with just uh, Kenjutsu. But I also do have Phoenix Flower, so we are going to go ahead and use that, too. This is a good fight. This is a good fight, Dosu. OK, we're going to have to use some of this. We're going to have to use some of this, definitely. And he can only hit us so much before. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. OK, we, we probably want to take this a little bit slower. Sorry if I'm making you guys woozy, but hey, it has to be done. We have to kill Dosu. This is his, uh, this is one of his special abilities. He kind of like poisons you, disorients you a little bit. Not poison you, but mostly disorient. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Take him out. One more hit. Boom. There's Dosu. Okay. Okay. Now we only have to kill one more. Oh my gosh. The spiders are going crazy. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead. We just have to kill this one last guy. We just have to take out Zaku and then we have completed this part of the tuning exams, which uh, obviously ah, this ain't going to be easy, but 
I think we can do this. I think that we can do this. This guy, this last guy is not the easiest. So wait, which ones did we kill? We killed. Which one did we kill? We got, we got, wait, hold on. This isn't making any sense. So shooting exams. Okay. Defeat Gumbunta. Wait, we already, we haven't done that yet. Okay. So we did kill Ken we killed Dosu. Now we just have to kill Zaku. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm eating my words. I am eating my words. This man is the hardest one. I always forget which one's the hardest, and uh, it is it is this one. It is definitely this one. Like I said, this was this was nerfed quite a bit, so I should be able to do this. I did complete it on my stream character. On stream, I do play on my Lee character, which you guys uh, which you guys might see on YouTube eventually. But we're trying to get him really really leveled up before um before we actually go ahead and like show you guys what's going on with with our Lee character. Let's see. Oh gosh, yeah, no, this this guy, this guy's rough. This guy is this guy is not gonna be easy to beat. We're probably gonna have to come back here after we die and try. Oh, there's somebody helping. Okay, there's actually somebody here. Come on, I just can't get hit by those. I just can't get hit by those. If I don't get hit by those, I'll be all right. And we're gonna die to wither. Yep. Okay. So now we just have to make our way back to the forest of death. And actually, we did add waypoints. Oh no. Warp belief. We haven't uh, we haven't got waypoints on our on our YouTube character yet. So let's go ahead, go back here, and get the waypoint. Um, we do have some we do have some little bit of fast travel now because you guys were having troubles with the tuning exams. Obviously, even I just died to it. Um, given I didn't have full health, but you know, uh, and the the level that I am right now, uh, around 10 to 12 bars of health, is right where you should be to be able to complete the um, tuning exams. And uh, you shouldn't have too much of a hard time doing it if you are that level. But let's head back there, see if we can't take out the last guy and uh, complete this tuning exams. All right, my mortal enemy, Zaku. Let's see if we can beat him this time. I might try some hand-to-hand -hand against him. I don't know if he uses range the whole time. If he does, then obviously that would not be the move. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, yes, he does. Okay. Yeah, no, that is not the move. Okay, so we, we're going to have to do something about this man. We're going to have to definitely do something about this man. I'm going to try to maybe get him on fire at least. Come on. Oh my gosh, he's so hard. He is so hard to be. Okay, there we go. We at least got him on fire. We have eight bars of health. This is this is looking decently okay. This is looking decently all right, all right? This man's on fire. He's taking damage. This is this is okay. This is okay. We can actually... Oh, we might have found a good spot here. We might have found a good spot here to be able to hit him through. Let's see, where, where is he now? Where is he now? He's still on fire. Okay, we don't want to be fighting multiple people at once. So we got to be careful that we're only fighting Zaku still. Probably going to want to take out some lightning balls here. Lightning balls do a lot more damage than Phoenix Flower. The problem is he dodges a lot. He's a uh, hit and run type, so he dodges a lot, as you guys can see. Come on. Come on. Ugh, he's at 60. Okay. Charge up a little chakra. Then we should actually be able to take him out. He's also on fire right now, so that, that's not helping his case. That fire damage is definitely helping us out. Oh yeah, we, we got him right here. We got him right here. Come on. Take one more burn damage. And boom, there we go. Well done. Fighting off the sound ninja. But as you, as you and your team progress through the tree, the smell of bloodlust fills your area. Who could this next foe be? Complete. Okay. Now we're probably... Oh, whoops. We got to be careful here. We got to be careful here. There's Dosu. Okay. Hopefully Dosu doesn't just attack us for no reason. We're going to go ahead and claim these quests because uh, we need this XP. Somebody else is definitely doing the tuning exams right now. Okay, we already spoke to Sakura. So we're gonna have uh, a decent bit of XP to claim up here. Oh my gosh, these guys are Hikari Torsa overbearing feeling of blood bus. Okay. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. We should have some SP and stuff to be able to, to claim here though. Okay, and I'm probably gonna wanna heal up before this next part of the exams. So that being said, let me go ahead and sit in this corner. Let's go over our um, our ninja card real quick. So we have 31 skill points. Okay, we're doing all right on ninjutsu. Um, I'd like to get my medical up a bit. So let's go ahead and get this up to 200. And then the rest is going into Kenjutsu. Definitely going to be putting the rest into Kenjutsu. That's what we want. So we've got 125 nin, 125 ken, 200 medical. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. This is uh, seeming like a decent build, but let me go ahead and heal up before um, before we fight this next foe. It's not going to be an easy one. Okay, so here's Orochimaru. Let's see. Can we beat him with Kenjutsu, maybe? Oh my gosh, wait. We might be able to beat him with Ken now. We might actually be able to beat him with Ken. 
He does poison us, so that doesn't help. That does not help, but hey, you know, it's better than nothing. And there is somebody actually here helping me as well, which is always good, which is always good. I don't know. Does does he not have any range? Okay, yeah, no. Roshimaru does not have any range, so we're going to have to fix that. But, uh, oh my gosh, so 50 health, 50 health. We got this. We got this in the bag. We've got this in the bag. Stay away from me, Orochimaru. Yeah, okay. This guy, this guy stands no chance. I'm going to be honest with you. Me and this dude got this in the bag, bro. As long as he doesn't, you know, uh, as long as he doesn't get the kill, you know, your boy needs to kill too. So we got to look out for number one out here. Maybe I'll help him kill him after I kill him or something like that. But, you know, you know, we're out here grinding. We're out here grinding. Let's see. How much damage does this do? Three? Okay, wow. This guy is actually strong. Okay. Oh, stay away, stay away. And lightning ball should take him out. Yes, okay. Ultimate power, one of the legendary three. You have fought off Orochimaru. He laughs and laughs as he slowly creeps into the darkness of the forest until we meet again, he says. Complete that. Oh my gosh, that was actually crazy. Okay, well, that was uh, that was fun, but let's go ahead. I'm going to fix him real quick, give him some ranged attacks because uh, I don't know why he doesn't have any range, but um, that being said, he does have some snakes that guard him and they're, they're not, they're not the easiest. So, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll give him a little bit of range, but I'm going to help this guy possibly get his Orochimaru and then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next part. All right, guys. So after you farm Orochimaru for quite a while, you're going to get a, uh, tuning more power token. It drops, but it is kind of rare. So you're gonna have to kill him quite a few times and then you detect and submit this. And uh, now we can go ahead and claim this quest. OK, so we're actually I forgot to say we're not going for curse mark on this. We're actually going to be doing a sage training. So what we're going to be doing is getting a summon at the end of this. So now what we have to do is locate dry sensei in the village. So we're going to go ahead and just warp back to leave and um, try to find uh, Jiraiya Sensei. He's at nine for uh, nine negative 15 70. OK, so Let's go ahead and see if we can't find Jiraiya. And um, I'm guessing that uh, he's going to try to have us go fight some type of crazy summon. And it's going to be hard, but we do need a summon because I was thinking about it. And eventually Senju is going to have a really good sword, which you guys are also going to see in this video. And um, I don't really need Curse Mark on this character too much. So, yeah, that being said, you know, the best choice would be obviously try to get the summon uh, because why not? You know, it, it can help us in these solo missions during this video, everything like that. So let's. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Choji. Choji. It's all right, bro. It's all right, bro. I'm not stealing your food. Leave me alone. OK, let's see if we can't get over here to Jiraiya Sensei and uh, have him give us our mission. And here he is. Oh, wow. Look at him creeping in on the bathhouse. OK, well, you know, I'm not I can't say I'm surprised you're going to blow my cover. I'm trying to finish my research for my next book. OK, OK, keep it down. I'll cut you a deal. I'll teach you how to make a contract with a toad, uh, but you have to let me finish this research. OK, <laughs> so now uh, let's go ahead and claim this. Oh, my gosh, Jiraiya, bro. Jiraiya is always, always peeping in on the bathhouses. OK, let's see now. What we, now, what do we have to do? You were able to summon a toad, but by accident, it was Gamabunta, the boss toad himself. Jiraiya has ran away and left you to settle Gamabunta down and send him back. Make your way to where the boss toad has ran to. OK, so now we just got to uh, go find where the boss toad is and um, we'll be all good. And I don't know where he is. So he's at 300 negative 2536, which I think would be closer to this. Yeah. OK, wait, nope. It was actually the opposite way. OK, well, I'm going to go find where this giant toad is and I'll let you guys know when I do. All right. I believe Gamabunta. Yes, he is. He is right here. OK, let's see if we can't take out Gamabunta. OK, he is setting us on fire. He is meaning some business. OK, this is not going to be easy. I wonder. I wonder if he has any Kenjutsu. Let's see. Let's see if this man has Kenjutsu. So he's at 267. This might not be the best idea. OK, yeah, no. Oh, no, he doesn't have Kenjutsu. He doesn't have Kenjutsu, but he is shredding me if I try to do it like this. So that being said, we cannot beat him like that. OK, OK, we're going to have to we're going to have to take our step back. OK, OK, it's OK. It's OK. It's OK, Gamabunta. I promise you it's going to be all right. Lightning balls coming out. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking Gamabunta. Now we're settling down. Now this is a fair fight. OK. Gosh, you, you, you are, I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. You're pretty strong. I guess he is a Chief Toad. Okay. Oh, gosh. Which, by the way, guys, if you're noticing from this video, most of the time to beat these NPCs, all you have to do is move around. And, uh, you know, it's not, I'm not going to say that it's easy, because obviously sometimes you might get hit. But, um, you know, it, you got to move around when you're fighting the NPCs. You're not going to be just able to beat them without moving. Um, 
you know, then it wouldn't be any fun. Then we could just have dark rooms again. Oh god. I gotta charge chakra. Please. Oh no, stop charging, stop charging. No. No. Stop recharging health. I gotta say in his I gotta say in his range. Oh my gosh, he oh gosh, he charged up so much. See? When we risk charging, he charges back health. So it's it's a risk. It's definitely a risk to uh Oh no, okay. Well, dang it. That was a good try. That was a good try. Um, let's go ahead. We'll just go back and uh, try to beat him again. The the Sage Toad is, uh, you know, he's not the easiest, I guess. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. He's still at, uh, he's still at 70. Okay. We win this then. We win this. Okay. That's not too bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. We should be able to take him out with a couple lightning balls here. And he should be gone now. There we go. Defeat Gumbuta, well done sending Boss Toad home. As a reward, he gave you a token to summon a toad to assist you in battle. Just head to the battle house to see if they are if there are any available. Let's see. Do you drop the token or do I I think that I get it from defeating him? Yes, okay, there we go. Toad summoning token. Boom, there we go. So now we just gotta head back to the bathhouse. Oh god. Stay away from me, Gumbuta. We just gotta head back to the bathhouse and we will be able to get our own toad summon. All right, so let's head back into this bathhouse and find ourselves a Gamakishi to hire. Let's go ahead and hire this one right here. He seems uh, more than uh, more than possible. Hire him. Now he should follow us for three Minecraft days, which is a decent amount of time. And now we should be able to do all of these quests quite easily. All right, so now that we've got Gamakichi with us, we're going to head to uh, go fight Kiba at the preliminary place um, at the academy now. This is not going to be, this is not going to be easy, but, uh, you know, we're going to try to beat him. He's really, real hard to beat by yourself. But now that I have Gamakichi with me, I'm thinking that I might be able to beat it. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to see. So we're making our way into the preliminary area and we're going to make our way all the way down to where we have to fight. Ah, <sighs> Kiba. Now, first of all, we need to go talk to the third Hokage over here first. So... That being said, we're going to try to substitute right over there before we can get hit too much by them. And uh, yeah, I think I think that works. I think that works. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Well done making it this far, Young Shinobi. The prelim fights will consist of you versus another ninja that made it out of the force of death. Your next match will be against Kiba and Inazuka. Good luck, both ninja. He's going down. All right, let's go ahead and claim this XP. We might be able to level up just from this little bit right here. And that obviously would help. So now we just have to defeat Kiba. And we'll be all set to go. Now we have five skill points. Let's go ahead and put um, three into medical, two into Kenjutsu. I think that should be good. I think that should be good. But let's wait until we're fully healed up. And then we will go ahead and fight these guys. All right. I think me and Gamakichi are ready. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, I think we should be able to defeat these guys pretty easily. I think that Gamabuta, or Gamakichi should help us quite a bit against these guys. Um, Gamakichi is insane. He is uh, he's definitely good. The good summon these guys are not these guys are not easy though Yamakichi keeps getting in my way bro all right we're gonna have to go back and try that again made it back let's go ahead and see if we can't beat kiba and akamaru now i think i think we've got this i think we've got this unlocked we just need uh we definitely need Gamakichi to start firing some uh firing some bullets over at them is he is he fighting i can't really tell i don't think he is well at least he's not in our way this time that's that's a plus i think we've, i think we've got this this time I think we've got this this time. Oh, no, we're getting a little disoriented. Okay, wait, they're fighting each other low-key. Hold on. Gamakichi, bro, why are you not helping me? Oh, my gosh, this is going to be so hard to beat by myself. Gamakichi is not helping me at all. Okay. We're going to want to charge up some a little bit of chakra here. Oh, God, yeah, okay, okay, okay. They definitely mean business. They definitely mean business. We're hitting them pretty hard now, though, and they're not hitting us quite as hard. I think that Gamakichi was just getting in our way, not going to lie. I don't know if uh, I don't know if we really need Gamakichi. Um, I think that maybe our, our summon might have ran out on him too. I think it's been three Minecraft days. I took a little break in between um, in between the last cut, so I think that uh, I think that Gamakichi is just uh, you know giving up on helping us for right now because we have not given him a new summoning token. I don't I don't think this guy should come down and try to help me. I want to beat this by myself. There's there is another guy here that might try to steal one of my kills. But uh, if he does do that, you know, we're, we're going to have to take him out, too. Let's see. We are just out of their range. And I should be able to take them out pretty pretty easily here. Yeah, Phoenix Flower might be the move. This is doing quite a bit, quite quite a good bit of damage. It's actually better than Lightning Ball if I hit all four. Um, let's see. How much? God dang, I'm down to four bars. 
fun. I'm gonna have to retreat a little bit and uh, charge up some chakra. The only thing is, when I'm charging chakra, they can heal. So that's uh, it's a rough time. It's definitely rough, and it's it's not really worth doing. If I can get them to hurt each other too, that would be that would be a goal as well. Let's at least take out one of them. Let's at least take out Kiba here. If we can kill Kiba, we can kill Akamaru on another time when we come back. Okay, come on. Don't get don't get ahead of myself. Don't get ahead of myself. Here we go. We just need to hit Kiba one more time. Come on, we don't have a chakra. We got Kiba. Okay, we got Kiba. We got Kiba. Now, we can sit back here. I'm going to heal up a little bit. And we're going to try to take out Akamaru too. Because Akamaru heals fast man okay and we want to take him out before kiba is back so wait okay yeah no this guy is following me why is he not attacking my man's is cheesing me my man's is cheesing me okay gamakichi you are in my way brother let's see let's see oh gosh okay we might actually be able to take him out right here this life gamakichi you gotta help me out bro gamakichi's gotta help me out come on and there i go gosh dang it okay he is really one shot. Let's go ahead and head back one more time and we'll be able to take him out. All right, here we go. Akamaru's still at 30 health. I think we've got this in the bag. Kiba still hasn't respawned yet. I think we've got this. I think that we've got this. If we don't, you know, we'll, we'll have it soon. But I think right now we take out Kiba. This fight is actually hard. It would help if Gamakichi actually helped me, but he uh, he's being kind of uh, annoying. Yeah, no, we defeated Kiba. Uh, you now qualify for your final match against Neji Huga. Spend some time training and getting prepared for the final battle of the tuning exams. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's do some preparation. Like that said, um, we're going to go ahead. I don't know. But he has one day left of following me, but he's not really helping us too much. Um, we might wait for that summoning to run out and then we might go fight Neji. And now we just have to head in here and talk to Lee and hopefully defeat Neji in the arena. This is not going to be easy. By any means, let's go ahead and get this done. I did level up quite a bit um, from defeating Kiba. You get a decent amount of XP from defeating these guys. So he says, hello, my friend. I've been seeing many great things from you, including your victory of Kiba. But I must warn you, Neji is the strongest fighter one on one and I have that I have ever faced a true genius of his generation. You must show him that with hard work and dedication that even us, we can overcome our destiny. Thank you, Lee. OK, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, wish me luck because this is not going to be easy, but we're going in. We are going in. Let's see if we can defeat him. He's at 177. And as you guys can see, there are people here that are also trying to defeat him. We're not the only ones. We are not the only ones. Here we go. Come on, Neji. What do you got? What do you got, bud? What do you got? He's down to 150. Here we go. Lightning ball a little bit. Okay, yeah, no, he has a decent amount of resistance. I wonder if we'll end up getting the final hit. Oh, is this guy, bro, why is this guy fighting me? <laughs> We're all a part of Leaf. We're all a part of Leaf. We can all, we can all, uh, we can all get a piece of Neji right here. Don't worry, we can all kill him a few times. Why am I the only one getting aggro from him? Why am I the only one getting aggro from him? There we go, there we go. Okay. Let's have somebody else get aggro for a little bit here. Oh, and he's shooting at me again. Okay, here we go. He's at 100. 101. We should be able to take him out. We should be able to take him out. No problem here. As long as we get the final hit, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get the final hit on him or else all of it is literally for nothing. And if you guys can have someone to distract Ninji like I am right now for everyone else, um, this definitely makes it a little bit easier. Probably trying to snipe him. Yes, let's go. I sniped him from all of the people. Oh my gosh. Defeat Neji Huga. Well done defeating Neji. You have shown him that destiny is up to you to create. You are now tuning in. Congrats. All right, guys. Well, before that guy killed me, I ended up actually killing him. Uh, he just let me kill him over there in that little arena thing. But um, yeah, I hope you guys got to read whatever Neji said um, at the end of that. Something about like overcoming the uh, something. I don't know. Something about overcoming your destiny. Something like that. Changing destiny. I hope that you guys um, enjoyed that. But now we have completely finished the tuning exams line, which means we just got a bunch of XP as well as now if we go to clan main, you can see that we have some more Senju stuff to be doing. So guys, if you enjoyed that video and are hyped for me to get more Jutsus and, uh, you know, expand my stuff, make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Peace.